here at three. Fans of the band The Doors may not know that the lead singer lived in Clearwater for a time while going to college. The house that he lived in has since been demolished, but the doors that were inside live on as pieces of art. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd with the story. One look at Rich Green's St. Pete living room. It's obvious he's a diehard music fan, but it's Jim Morrison and The Doors that really touched him. I heard them on the radio and maybe 10, 10, 11 years old and just really kind of grabbed me. I kind of liked the way he was kind of on the edge, you know? And he didn't really care what anybody thought. And he was uh, kind of a rebel against authority. From 1961 to 1962, Morrison actually lived in Clearwater with his grandparents while attending St. Pete Junior College. I lived next door, I guess two houses away for, God, it must have been over 10 years, and I didn't even know that that was his house. His grandparents' house was demolished back in 2005, but this was not the end for the doors inside. They were salvaged and made into art. Really loved, loved the likenesses of the four members of the band. You know, you could recognize them right away. But the thing that really sucked me in uh, was when I hit the doorbell. I was expecting ding, ding, and this is what I got. Artist and musician Joe Sanders painted the kitchen door. On the front, it's a mural of Morrison. And when you break on through to the other side... Kind of shows kind of like, you know, the rise and fall of Jim, you know, from top to bottom. They changed the face of music for their little time period, you know. You know, they, 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 you know, they were that really good art rock. The rock star's time in the area even lit a fire under local superfan Bird Stevens to write a book entitled Jim Morrison's Clearwater, Then and Now. Clearwater, I think, is important because it was the, the last place that he was before he left and became this giant superstar. I just think it's really neat that they did preserve. They preserved this part of history, that it didn't go to waste. In Pinellas County, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.